Okay, so welcome to our next editing video. So basically what you want to do is start off with two images basically that work well together, obviously of the same car. Let's jump straight into it. I'm going to control A, control C to copy. So I'm going to copy this image and I'm going to paste it here. Then I'm going to press V shortcut and I'm going to resize it. So I'm going to decide what sort of size I want it. You can drop the opacity so that you can see what's going to be behind it and how big it's going to be. And I think that will be pretty cool. That's okay. So now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it. Let's bring this back. Okay, I'm going to crop it to where this image starts. So right there. Right, you can go ahead and change this at a later stage. You can even crop before, but I usually like to put it on, see how it looks. And then, okay, cool. So for the next step, there's a few ways you can do this. You can actually go ahead and click here, select subject. Now, Photoshop usually does a decent job of selecting the actual subject in, in your photo. It doesn't always do that. You can use the polygon tool if you press, uh, sorry, polygon lasso tool if you press L. That will give you the polygon lasso tool. And you can go ahead and spend hours tracing around the image if you want. Obviously, I'm not doing a good job here. But what I like to do is I like to select subject, go up here, press and hold, quick selection tool, and then I go in and I have a look. And then its default is on plus. I don't know if you guys can see the plus there. So if you press and hold the alt key, turns it into a minus. So I'm removing a selection. So I just brush over that, brush over this person here, brush over this person, brush over there, brush there, brush there. See, it's also because of the, the darkness here, it selected the other part as well. The selection is not going to be perfect. You can go up here and click select and mask uh, again you must remember that this is the software trying to decide or trying to figure out what you want to select um, and it's not always going to get it right so when I show you the next step you'll understand what you need to do next so I'm just gonna clean up that clean up there up there and then I'm gonna go here add layer mask I'm gonna add a, a layer mask let's do that so that's our starting point let's go ahead so I've selected I've clicked B B which is for brush that's there and if you look at the soft or hardness it's on zero I'm gonna reduce the size a bit now, the white area is showing you what it's revealing, what the mask is revealing. The black is showing you what's it, what it's concealing. So basically what I wanna do is now, I wanna conceal or I wanna reveal the bottom here. So I want this to be white. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to white. And I'm gonna do that. Okay, now obviously I don't want that other BMW in the back and I don't want this person's feet. So I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm just gonna... So, as you can see, the selection isn't perfect, but with creating the mask, we can basically 
work at it from there. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the hardness of my brush to 70%. And reduce the brush size. And we're going to start neatening up this edge. Okay, a lot of people would stop right here and they'd be totally happy with what they've created and that's all good and well. But if you want to take it that next step further, the big trick to this and one of the tricks I use is to remove all these spaces where there's a window. And that takes a little bit of a while and there's another trick I'm going to show you after this. Uh, but yeah, that is what sells data. So here goes. Okay, now, once you've basically uh, revealed everything through the windows and made them transparent, it obviously looks kind of crappy. It looks like you just did a shitty uh, master. So the one way to actually fix that is to create a tint. And how you do that is create a solid color and you go and you pick that as a color basically sample from the window tint so the window tint is a bit bluish you sample there let's go a bit better click ok and then you've got to change your blend mode so basically it's set to normal by default and if you go here you can basically see there's different modes and so obviously it's affecting the whole thing and we don't want it to affect that but I'll get to that in a second. Usually I go with like screen or overlay. Overlay tends to work nicely as well but it varies per image. Okay so we're gonna go with that. Once you've done that you change it comes with the layer mask you, cha you change it to black and then you wanna only reveal it basically where there's a window. So I'm going to go back to brush, increase the brush size and make sure it's set to white in which is reveal and then I'm going to go there. Once you're done here, what you got to do is you can add a LUT on top. Basically what that's going to do is even out the whole image. So basically what it's, it's, it's going to show you that the whole image is edited together and it's going to kind of sell it as one edit. What you could also do is add a curves layer and you go up here and you drop the highlights slightly and you boost the shadow slightly. So once you've done those, you want to hit Shift, Control, Alt, and E. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and press Shift and Control, press and hold Shift and Control, press A. Let's just fix the contrast a bit. Right? The black's a bit more punchy. Let's drop the highlights a bit. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Control J to copy. Shift Control A again. 
come down here to effects I'm gonna add a bit of a vignette and a feather yeah. and yeah I think that's it I think I'm happy with that um, so as I said just to run through quickly two main points to selling this effect is making sure that you reveal the windows or mask out the windows to reveal what's behind it and then add uh, the tint or the color of the windows uh, just behind that layer to actually sell the effect also you want to make sure your masking is 100 uh, percent i'm going to put up on screen now um, the actual edit i did on this image uh, you'll see i added a bit of shadow uh, just behind the miniaturized car as well just to, to kind of sell the effect like there was a miniature car park there but yeah that's basically it and that's how you do this edit thank you for watching guys and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and hit the like button below uh, just remember every single subscription helps us to uh, make more content for you guys and more content for you to enjoy thank you so much